In the year 2065, war destroyed our world. In our desperation, we searched the stars for a new home. And just when we thought we'd found one, we realized we were not alone. We have the most important mission. We must not fail. We are the last. And why, I hear you ask? Life. Survival is built into the very genome of every living thing to endure, to evolve, at any cost. For billions of years, the planet Earth was home to many beautiful and wonderful creatures, all living in harmony with their environment. It includes, of course, the human race, the so-called masters of their fate, the dominant species who, over millions of years of evolution, reshape their environment for their every need. That was until seven years ago, the year 2065. Because unfortunately, that was the year our beautiful planet was destroyed in a nuclear war that lasted just 67 minutes. The bombs dropped so fast that no one had time to say goodbye, to pray, or to call their loved ones. The world's population barely knew a war had started. But in the blink of an eye, our home was gone. The few humans that survived the post-apocalyptic world fled in scout ships to all the known corners of the galaxy, looking for a new planet to call home. I am on one of those scout ships. For all I know, we could be the last. When we received the signal from the Pegasus, we altered our course and headed for what would become our new home. The Pegasus sacrifice meant that humanity could start afresh and build a future. Knowing that we are not the last. screw now. Make sure you keep a hold of it. Relax, man. These are steady hands. I just don't want to lose any if we can help it. Yeah, there's already enough screws loose around here. Michael, are you disparaging the sanity of certain crew members on board? Or are you making libelous insinuations about the stability of my ship? Your ship? <laughs> Fuck you, man. This ship's sweetheart is mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 flyboy. Anybody can point this crate in a direction and press the button mark go, but it takes a genius, and let's not forget, Mike, I'm a genius, to keep her A, moving, and B, from falling apart, all right? That makes a mine. Sorry to interrupt you ladies, but this crate, as you so elegantly call it, Pete, is mine. Captain, yeah. whose ship is it? John's, John's ship. Good girls. Now, how much longer on this work? I'm just installing the new valve now. Copy that. Quick as you can, gentlemen. I want engines started inside of an hour. There's a dust cloud headed this way that'll require more than a valve being fixed if it hits us. Understood, sir. Moving double quick. Where were we? Let me just make sure he's not still listening. Captain? Okay, yes, where were we? This ship, Mike, is mine because I'm the one that keeps it falling apart every time. Somebody called Mike takes us too close to a star or through an asteroid belt or into a black hole or whatever it is you joyriders do when you're fumbling at those controls. Whoa, well, she may not be falling apart, but you sure ain't the one out here fixing her right now. Well, delegation of duties is part of my job, you see. There's no point in risking me going outside to flick a plasma valve when I can talk you through it, Mike. This is a job a seven-year-old could do. Oh, well, next time we'll just send Lila. The suits are too big for her. Besides which, we're supposed to only send expendable members of crew outside? Oh, fuck you and your expendability, man. Without me, we don't fly. That's so weird because I think the captain and the co-pilot are taking the next two pilot shifts. Is, is that right? Hey, no one flies like I do. All right, I'll make it in our form. Anyway, Mr. Important, I'm ready to put this new valve in and get the fuck back inside so I can kick your ass. Well, now there's incentive for me. Okay, you need to see that the corners are all lined up. Make sure the grooves match too. That way you will know that you don't have it in back to front. Have you got the manual in front of you? I thought you were a genius. Get like, screw the screws back in and reseal the panel and then you're done, all right? I'll, and I can run a pressure test on it. Whoa, 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 wait till I'm clear of this section before you run any pressure test. Don't worry, relax. There's nothing gonna blow you off and push you deep into space, as long as you've done a proper job. Warning, pressure must be released in the helium tanks. Shit. Mike? I just dropped one of the screws. I can go after it. Use one of the spares. You got me any of these left? 
After seven years, mate, don't ask. Okay. All right, sorry again, man. Hey, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> mate, it's your favorite. Oh, yeah? Steak, potato salad, and a side of onion rings? It's my lucky night. You bet. Edward's pulling out all the stops. We're all grateful for last night's feast, you see. Hatch is sealed. Heading back to airlock. Mike to the bridge. Go ahead. Jane, I finished doing Pete's job for him. I'm coming back in. Copy that. Course is already plotted. Mike is now back on board, and the airlock is sealed. Firing it up. Good job, boys. Whereas the Pegasus flies through space, the submarine flies through water. Do you have a submarine? Me? No. But I have a fixture for you. What else is there in the ocean? In the ocean? There's loads of things in the ocean. Did I tell you about the coral reef? I didn't? Wow. Well, the coral reef is like a big, beautiful underwater garden with a million different colors, all stretching out for miles and miles, and you can explore it with all the fishes. Can we watch Jaws tonight? You said that was about the sea. <laughs> I said that was about, it is about the sea, yeah? But I got a big, I got a kind of a feeling that Haley's not gonna like me showing you Jaws. We could keep it a secret? We could keep it a secret, but only because you're my favorite shipmate. Got it? When you have school to be at? Are you sure? Haley, it is now time for Lila's school lesson. She is currently with Pete in engineering. Please let me know if you would like me to remind her. I found your last lesson on human history particularly interesting. Control substance blocker code accepted. Medical officer Haley Matthews. Roster unit four is a little sluggish. It's kicking in two seconds after the others. I'll run a signal check. Sending a test signal to units A through F. How was your walk outside? Nice weather? Oh yeah, the breeze was nice. <laughs> Just another average day at work, huh? Every day's an average day. Not today it isn't. Oh yeah? Why's that? Today is someone's special day. What do you mean? Happy birthday. How the hell did you remember? It's my dad's. Or it would be my dad's tomorrow. When you let it slip last year, it just sort of stuck. Don't worry, I haven't reminded anyone. God forbid we should celebrate something. Yeah, the year's passing isn't something I particularly want to celebrate. Oh, no problem, old man. I'll just take the present back. Oh, no, no, I didn't say I didn't want the gift. What is it? Well, half the fun is in the surprise. <laughs> okay. Better not be something that's gonna jump on and bite me in the face. There goes the surprise. You made a cake? You made a cake? Actually, I got Haley to make it. I didn't want to waste the ingredients fucking up after the first dozen times. It's part of a cookery class for Lila. So actually, this is a gift from Lila and Haley. Hey, I commissioned the work. Without me, that cake wouldn't even exist. Will there be see where we're going? Probably not. But I think the planet we're heading to is even habitable. Everyone else says that ours will be the one that has an atmosphere and everyone else will come here. Well, everyone else is trying to not make you worry. But what have I always told you? The truth. That's right. He always tells you the truth, doesn't he? Because I will never lie to you. Now, don't you have some studying for Haley to do? Okay, if Haley asks where I am, will you say you haven't seen me? Of course I will. But only because you're my favorite member of crew. I guess I can lie to everyone else. Come on, go. 
I hope that doesn't include me, Mr. Burke. Of course not. Engineer never lies to his captain. You might exaggerate sometimes, just so you appreciate the miracles he works down here. Good stuff. Now you can fix the oxygeneration units on C deck. The other units are working overtime to compensate, and if they start burning out, then the minor problem of breathing becomes a major issue. Especially when you waste oxygen by using welding equipment. I... They're not gonna burn out for one. I replaced the knackered unit with the one from the escape pod. So we're all okay there. You can't use the unit from the escape pod. First, it's not big enough to replace a unit that serves a whole deck. And second, it's from the escape pod. If any of us ever need it, we won't survive more than a few minutes in there. Oh, you got your eye on it, have you? Oh, that's not even funny. Uh, enough, gentlemen. Pete, I know you have a lot to do right now, but Edward's right. Edward's right. You need to put the generator back on the pod where it belongs, and I need the one on level C fixed in the next 24 hours. Otherwise, you can go into the pod and free up some oxygen for the rest of us. <laughs> yes, boss. Anything else? Nope. I'm sure we'll all be quite hungry soon. Hmm. It is your night to prepare dinner, isn't it? Oh, it's such a great day. Well, the plasma overload did more than screw the valve. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Truly, your generosity knows no bounds. Yeah, can I get that box back? Because I may need that again next year. It's mine. You gave it to me. Thanks. Uh, there are crumbs in that. I want in. <laughs> All right. I guess. There you Thank go. you. Mm -hmm. you share. Delicious. Mmm. I did good, right? Oh, that is good. Oh, you, you got a little right here. Huh? No, no, no. I'll get it. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm just trying to... You're hitting on me. What? I'm not hitting You're on you. You're totally hitting on me. No, you had something, you had... That is a move. That is totally it's a, not move. a move. Oh, come on, you think I don't know a move? I'm seven years on a ship and I don't know what a move is? Was... Come on. Okay, look. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. All right, I'm gonna allow this. Come here. Oh, are you kidding me? Pegasus, is diagnostic done already? <sighs> Negative. We have received communication. That far out? Where the hell is it from? It is from the Utah. What do they say? It's encrypted. Captain's eyes only. Shit. From where they were headed, it would take how long? I'm well, assuming they stayed on course of their flight plan. That message would have been sent four months the ago. The only ship with that kind of communication range and a call that takes that long to get through, it's got to be important. I think you know it. It's been like a tightrope for me since we left, Captain. I'm trying to balance maintaining the systems with keeping enough in reserve. Actually, I'm getting a bit of extra efficiency. Pete, I know. Basically, Captain, the, the engine's working twice as hard as she should. I, I'm burning up antimatter like there's no tomorrow. As a consequence, of Pete, we wrap the Pete. Captain, we don't have enough antimatter now to make the return journey. We can get there just fine. We just can't make it home. You sure? Hundred percent. Pegasus, confirm my findings. Findings confirmed, Pete. There is presently not enough antimatter to return to the Earth's solar system. You should probably brief the crew. No, no. Hope is what keeps the ship going. I, I, I don't want to rob them of that. I'll be honest, Cap. I'm running that hope faster than I'm running that screws. <laughs> Captain, we have received a transmission from the Utah. It is encoded, Captain's eyes only. Something will turn up, it always does. Yep. I need you to keep this between us till then, okay? Okay. Attention all crew. Edward is delighted to announce that dinner is ready. If you would all like to make your way to the mess hall, I hope you all enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Always know. 
Here. Not everyone's had a share yet. Just put a little more chow on my plate. Move along. Don't tell me to move along. Just more fucking food on my plate. Hey, Mike, come on. Yeah, ill. We're home cooking it anyways. Right. He's probably running experiments. Let it go. Every morning you guys do this. this. Believe me, I have better subjects for scientific inquiry than you. How's the steak, Mike? Uh, bitter. Oh wow. Today I'm gonna have it medium. I'm gonna have mine with peppercorn sauce, please, and a wine list. <laughs> Where's the wine list, Edward? Mm, smells oh. good. Wine. Oh, wine. Wine. Oh, nice oh, bottle of Merlot. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. You don't know about these things, yeah. but you know. Oh, wow. This is amazing, Edward. Dickens would be proud of this. Well, I can't wait till it's your turn. I'll do it. You know something so special with unrefined protein and oh. carbohydrates. You know what? <laughs> I'll happily take yeah. your ship, Pete. Mm. You can prioritize fixing my shower head. Mm. Oh. What have I told you about removing it from the mounting to uh, test the water pressure? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in that show? I, I gotta wow. pass the time somehow. Hey, 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 hey. listen up real quick. As you guys know, we had to shut down the engine to make some minor repairs. Everything's fine. I just want to let you know everything's good to go. Sure. Gunning the engines for seven years on a short range transport. Oh, wow. Amazing. Don't gun the engines. We make this baby purr. He's got, he's got one good point there. These craft were not made to go the distance we're taking. No. Really? Or comfort, you sure? or privacy, or proper hygiene. Or a decent workout regimen. No, we're getting the ball installed next week. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but me needs to write a letter about that. Yeah, the pearl sheet needs fixing too. It's kind of squeaky, sugar, like no. Everybody. A lot of squeaky stuff. Everybody. Oh. Let's let the captain speak. I think he has something to tell us. Captain? Uh, we got the status report in from the Utah. As you know, they're the ship closest to us since the scope out Sector 349G. The planet they were targeting came back negative. So they've started their final run back to the fleet. Lucky bastards. Right? I <clears throat> Listen, I know it's not good news, guys, but we still have a mission to do. It just means that we're going to be the ones that get to discover the new Earth. Seven right. years wasted. Fourteen years when they get back. Everyone knows these missions were a lottery. Some people got journeys twice as long. Some people got trips in one year. They weren't even out of comms Edward. range of the fleet. I could not be on one of those fucking ships rather than this one. I think we all would have loved that. The longer the mission journey, the more chance there is of something going wrong, and the less chance there is of getting back. Everyone knew that. Everyone still knows that. Yeah. You're here. That's right. Agreed. We're looking yeah. good for an old ship. Come on. All right. Yeah. That's cold comfort for someone who couldn't make the choice seven years ago. She's had seven years more of life this way than she would have had otherwise. What life? No, How can you say that? No. She's got more goodness in her little finger than you've got in your entire body. <laughs> well, that goodness is going to wither on the vine and turn into hey, dust. Hey, no, 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 hey, 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 listen, listen, as long as we have a mission, guys, we have hope, okay? There's no reason to believe this planet is not the right one, okay? It's in the habitable zone. Edward, all of your long-range scans have been encouraging, haven't they? So far. A little bit of elaboration? Yeah, can you uh, give us more here? Well, long-range scans haven't shown anything not habitable, but it's still a long shot. Well, we won't know until I send down the probe. Statistically, though, it's unlikely that ours or any of the other ships are going to succeed. Uh, what the hell? We can cultivate our own food and we got water recycle. We just turn this ship around and head back. And we will survive. I'm gonna go back to work. Until the oxygen Probably breaks zero. down. I'm repairing those right now, Edward. And then we slowly suffocate to death. This is him being encouraging? Or this is him being Edward? I'm just saying, that's the situation. And I'm just saying, rain in the negativity. We still got our jobs to do. In fact, your job just became the most important. 
He's got a point, Edward. Once we get there, I'm gonna need you all over the telemetry. We only got one probe. Looks like he finally became useful. Fuck you. Map seconds now. Uh, hmm? Better get back to the bridge. Texas is probably getting bored flying herself. I'll go. I thought you wanted more food. No, I, I, I'm done. I'm not hungry anymore. Guys, we're almost there. You know, I do wonder, though, about the Utah and how many other ships have been lost. It must have happened to some. I just hope it wasn't the ones that were on their way to a habitable world. If someone does find something, it's seven years back, with God knows how many heading to wherever the new Earth is. Haley. What's up, sweetheart? Can I watch a movie tonight with Pete? <laughs> Not tonight. We've got big day tomorrow, so I need you to get some proper sleep. And no sneaking around the ship, you know, Jerry gets grumpy if we wake him up. Oh, all right, that's it. I'm gone. <sighs> I really don't fancy doing any more dental work. Pulling out Pete's molar was enough for me. Pete said he wouldn't trust anyone else to do it. He said for a nurse, you make a better dentist than most dentists. Did he? Well, that's very kind of him to say. Although, to be honest, I'd be quite happy if I didn't get every vaguely medicine-related job on the ship. Hey. You busy? No, no, not even flying. Got it on autopilot. Wow. James plotted too good a course to bother changing. No, I meant, wow, that's a special kind of laziness. <laughs> but as soon as you got a minute, it's time for Night of the Living Dead. I had to choose that one again. Come on, this is a classic. You love this one. Give it another chance. I know how much you love it really deep down. You can't sleep, Pete? Well, I can't sleep. You're not sleeping. <sighs> uh, where's the popcorn, buddy? Well, we can have some recycled protein. <sighs> I'll pass. They were great people. They were the best kind of parents you could have because they loved you very much. Why did they leave me? Sweetheart, they, they didn't leave you. They saved you when they couldn't save themselves. You were too young to remember. There was a lot of confusion when people left Earth. Some people got left behind that really shouldn't have. There wasn't enough room. Did they die? I don't know, sweetheart. I know they wanted to find a new home, and that's why they gave you to me when you were just this big. And now you're all big and grown up. I don't think I could carry you now like I could back then. So I'm gonna do my best. You know? I'm gonna find you a new home. I'm gonna be all right. You and me. Good night, Haley. Good night, sweetheart. You want some? 
She okay? She asked about her parents. What did you say? That they loved her and... That they wanted her to be here. And one day you're gonna have to tell her what happened. I know. Not today. She's too young. I really thought that Utah could have been the one. I mean, I know anyone of use could have been the one, but they seem to really make a good fit. Some have a better chance than others. Just focus on our mission. If you keep thinking about all the others, you'll go crazy. Someone will find a place. Whoever does is going to be remembered. Like the first people to fly or walk on the moon or Mars. No one forgets their names. And no one is going to forget the first people to find the next alien world. Especially if they have something memorable to say. Jane, do you mean like Neil Armstrong's One Small Step? Yeah. Although if I knew I was going to be the first person to walk on a new world, I'd sell my first line to the highest bidder. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Sing a jingle, say an advertising slogan, be remembered forever. Be worth a fortune. You know, different to be wearing branding. I'm pretty sure most of the advertising executives burned up in the war. You'll have to settle for something profound. Something profound? Mm. Girls, although Neil Armstrong said his words just came to him and were never pre-written, after that mission, NASA pre-wrote many speeches, like James Church's speech, for when he first walked on Mars. There were many not used, and all of them in my library. I will select some for you to read as inspiration and send them to your personal library. I'm thinking about having sex with Pete. And does he know this? No. Or at least, I haven't told him. I think he'd be up for it. Yeah, he's a man. I just really miss that feeling of a man on top of me, you know. Why Pete out of interest? Just get the impression he'd try very hard. Makes sense, you two getting together. You're the nearest thing to parents to Lila. I don't want to get together with Pete. I was just joking. Forget it. Hmm. Fair enough. Just let him fix the oxygen unit first. Otherwise, you'll be engaging in auto asphyxiation. all slept well. The captain would like to see you at 0800 hours in the mess hall before breakfast. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Where's Lila? Ah, uh, she's still sleeping. Jerry? Still over. All right. But guys, tomorrow we are Entering the target system, when we get close enough, we're going to launch the probe, we're going to start receiving telemetry. Edward, do you want to take over? Well, we're looking for two priorities. One is an atmosphere comparable to ours. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon. And the other is presence of water, or ice. Those are the two essentials. 
On the would be nice list is an existing ecosystem with edible flora and fauna. What about animals? Yeah, we're expecting aliens down there. Oh, just a bit of poultry would be nice. Uh, non deadly indigenous creatures are on the um, unlikely list. Once the probe is launched, we just keep taking continuous readings until we get a conclusive result. Look, guys, if the results come back positive, we, we send a signal back to the fleet before we land. And if the results read negative? It's not habitable, then we move on. We move back home, back to the fleet. That's the plan. All right, guys, look, stay sharp. We're almost there, OK? Let's have a good day. worse. How are you feeling? Not particularly great. I wonder if it has less to do with the illness now. I always considered the possibility that I'd die on this ship. Nothing certain, Jerry. I'm not even sure if the species deserves a second chance. We just make the same mistakes. What mistakes wouldn't you make again? Trust in the Chinese. Very PC. No, very true, you mean. Perhaps for your generation. Oh, forgive me. And I thought you were one of the last of mankind. Homeless. Running around aimlessly like me. Look, oh. Jerry. Oh, man. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, anyway, thanks. I'm sorry about the depressing thoughts. Hang on. Thank Let you. me give you something for the pain that you're quite obviously in. Now, this stuff. <laughs> I'm fine, infected. really. Medical officer Haley Matthews. Pegasus, who apart from me has access to the controlled substances locker? Access is restricted to yourself and the captain. Your last access was 14 hours ago. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry I found out? Yes. Look, Jerry. If you're in this much pain, you should have said, I would have given it to you in the correct doses. I took it until the pain goes, that's the correct dose. You could die if you take too much of that stuff. Not too much of a threat to a guy who has a terminal illness. You could have years. And how those years, I'm sure they'll be. Jerry... No, I... look, Haley. I assure you, dying is the last thing I intend to do.
coming to get you, Barbara. What are you sneaking up on me for? This old piece of shit. Are you drunk? Why don't you ever watch anything decent? Where'd you get that bottle? Have you been hiding that from us? I haven't had a real drink in 12 months. I don't care. I really don't care about you or your pal. I just wish you'd all fuck off and die and leave me in peace. Why don't you go and sleep this off? You're just wasting your time with this piece hey, of garbage! Hey! Hey! You, huh? You're so depressed you want to bring us all down with you? You want me to kill you, piece of shit? You want me to murder you? Is that what it is? Try it. <laughs> kill me. And, and then see who is going to interpret the data from the probe. Right now, I am the most important guy on this whole ship. I'll show you how important you are. Attention, code orange. Attention, code orange. Attention, code orange. It's not possible. What is it? We're too far out. What's the problem? Captain to the bridge. I repeat, Captain to the bridge. Code orange. We have a code orange. Say again, Mike. It sounded like you said code orange. Confirmed, sir. You heard me correctly. Just hit our scans now. Edge of our range. Doesn't look like she's moving. Do you have a visual? I will if I swing us. All stop. Meet me at the OBS deck. What is it? Are we about to explode? Are we on fire? Running out of air? Is there someone pregnant? Will you kindly inform me what is happening? We have a code orange. What the fuck is a code orange? He there's another ship out there. I still can't. Believe it, sir. It's real. Pegasus, do we know who it is? The ship does not have a functioning beacon or signal transponder. It is a standard PT-32 design. The same as us. That is the most common type of scout ship. But well, one of ours off course? The only ship near was the Utah. There's no way it could be one of ours going off course. Pegasus telescope. Coordinates 87. Vector 12A. Zoom. Enhance. Oh, great. It's a Chinese ship. How the hell are they here? Uh, they sent out the same scans we did. Maybe they launched a couple of months ahead of us. Which begs the question, why they stopped? They're right on the edge of the system. Why not continue? Maybe they sent a probe to the planet, proof it wasn't viable. They just figured it wasn't worth it. Maybe they're making repairs. Maybe they're dead. Hey! Maybe we should just stop speculating, all right? Till we have a little bit more information right now, all we know is that there's a ship out there. Mike, resume course. They'll swing us right by, we can get a closer look. Edward, us. Wake everyone up. So what if they're hostile? Okay, then that's a possibility. I think we're too close to stop now. I say keep going. No, that ship could have every spare part we'd ever need. It can make our lives like a hundred times easier. Come on! Exactly, and there are certain medical supplies we seem to be running out of quicker than we should be. Captain, whatever happened on that ship to stop them, it could happen to us! Oh, oh okay. Or or the information on that ship could help us foresee yeah, something yeah, yeah. ahead. And as appealing as that sounds, I see no good in treading in dead man's footsteps. But what if they need our help? Oh, fuck that. Let's complete our mission, then we can circle back and investigate if we have to head back to the fleet. We can't right. do that. Boy, that's sure that New Earth is just around the corner. You haven't even set out the probe. I mean, what the hell? You had some revelation from God? We can't make it home. What? Captain? The plasma overload last week burned 12 cubics of antimatter. We used a reserve. Pete? We already did. Oh, what? Okay, listen, we need antimatter to make it back. That ship may what have some. What the hell? You gonna let us Okay, this is not a democracy, Jerry. We are boarding that ship. We are going to help them or ourselves or both. The, the, the information on that computer is critical to us. We need this. We don't have a choice, guys.
Captain, all attempts to hail the unidentified PT-32 have gone unanswered. I cannot sync with their AI system, which is unusual. It may be offline. Our approach course is set, and we will be ready to dock within the hour. Copy that. Good luck, boys. John Jane. We're through the airlock. We're on the Chinese ship. Seal the hatch. Integrity of the unidentified PT-32 is at 62%. Protocol recommends we seal the airlock and retract the docking corridor while the away team complete their mission. Correction, hull integrity of the unidentified PT-32 is now at 61%. Chinese. I'm assuming their system readouts are the same as ours, in which case it looks like we got good atmosphere pressure. Environment's a little hot, but we do have oxygen. We should be able to breathe. So we can take these off? Yeah, sure. After you. Okay, I need you to get the main engine power back on so we can get the computer back online. Okay. All right. Hello, I'm Shilong. Can I help you? Yes, that's good stuff. Okay, I'm going to see if I can access their logs, figure out what happened. Head to engineering, see if there's anything that we can salvage. Mike, I need you to figure out how and when they got here and how long they've been here.
How's your Chinese? It's been a while since I needed it. Yeah, same here. Well, at least the shifts are the same, so the controls are identical. They all made in Taiwan. Now, Haley speaks some Chinese. I'm hoping she can translate them, but we gotta find the logs first. No crew. No sign of life. Is this what happened to her? I think I've got something. Seem concerned. Maybe whatever happened, they, they didn't know it was coming. How you coming with the transport logs? Not good. All the file headings are in Chinese. I'm gonna have to go through them one by one. Okay. Upload them to Pegasus. We'll get Haley started on the translation. Go get now. Okay. Else is on the ship. What? Someone else is on the ship. Who? I don't know who. But I've seen enough scary movies in my time to know not to go and investigate the loud noise. I thought I'd swing back, grab some of my friends, and we can all go and take a look. I'll check the internal sensors. Offline, great. Okay, we're blind here, guys. We have to do a sweep. Stay close, let's go. Jane, Pete was able to get the Dragon's AI unit up and running. I am now connected to it. Haley, Mike has sent over some files for you to translate. Many of the Dragon systems are still offline, including the internal sensors. The captain has now ordered ship-to-ship -ship radio silence. They have a Code 7 situation on board. Mike, watch your six. Got a cap. I thought we checked the whole ship. Obviously not. You sure you saw something? I'm sure I saw something. I never seen you run so fast, Pete. You know what? You don't believe me, why don't you run ahead and take a look? I didn't want to. I didn't get a good look, okay? But it was like something like crazed, maniac, maybe like six foot or something like that. Six feet.
Jesus, he's only a kid. Probably Pete's six foot monster. He knocked you over, didn't he? I tripped. Of course he did. Hopefully he's got some answers. I got him. Talk about it. This is what you call backup. It was leadership skills that made me warn you. Hey, Captain. Yeah. Me and Mike were wondering if something happened to you, who would you want to take command of the ship? You know, in the event of something going bad, who? Captain, actually, Pete was wondering. I know the answer to that already. Oh, what I was saying is I assumed it would be, you know, the person that knows the most about the ship. Uh, I would base it completely on looks, guys. Bridge, come in. Bridge here. What's happening, Captain? Uh, we found a survivor, a small Chinese boy. Yeah, Jane, but the airlock's not working. Can you uh, unlock it from your end? There's no problem this end. Pegasus, release the airlock. Outer airlock has been sealed. Override must be manually entered. I'm afraid that would be me. What do you mean? Captain, I locked it. In case any survivors from the Chinese ship tried to gain access to the Pegasus. Yeah, well, it's just us and a boy, so you can let us in. I can't risk it. We don't want whatever happened over there happening here. You're just gonna have to stay there until we understand what's going on. Open the fucking door, Edward. Edward, it's just us, there's no risk. Open the door, that's a direct command. Captain, with you and Mike off the ship, I'm the next person in command, and I will not risk it. You guys shouldn't even have removed your helmets. We don't know what happened to the crew over there. We don't know if they got sick. You have endangered the entire mission by... <laughs> I thought he'd never shut up. Just helping Edward calm down a little, sir. Haley? Manually reversing override. Airlock open. Based on looks, you know? Yeah, so that means me. <laughs> you wish. You have endangered our lives by doing this. You should have left him over there to die. You know what? Better yet, you should have finished the job yourself. He's just a child, for goodness sake. Would you happily have Lila killed just as he That is different. How come? Lila is not our enemy. His people are! Exactly that attitude that got us here in the first place. Well, you know what? Like it or not, we are here. And his people are after the same thing we are. You know, I highly, highly doubt that two flags are going to be planted in the same sand together. Haley, Haley, what can you tell me about it? Not a great deal. He's between four and six years old, malnourished, poor state of hygiene, severely traumatized by whatever happened on that ship, or the sheer fact that he's been there for however long. He's sedated now. I'll talk to him when he wakes up. Captain, I have Pete wanting to speak with you from the Dragon. Go ahead, Pete. Captain, I've checked the antimatter supply over here. There's hardly anything left. Nowhere near what we need to get home. You sure? 100%. Checked it twice. Looks like they didn't leave anything for the trip home. Copy that. I'm sending Mike over now. Strip down everything that's not nailed down. As soon as you guys are done, we're heading out. Roger. You happy? Fucking wonderful! Can you believe all the cool stuff they had in here? You definitely checked all their reserves, right? I checked it, and I checked it twice. It was just accepted, but this was a one-way trip. Hey, you think they knew something we don't? Yeah. Get to the planet. Claim it before the Western is there. <laughs> all right, come on. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, good idea, mate. Because I just removed all the isotope guards. I can feel the heat already. What's going to happen? Well, mate, in a couple of minutes, the ship won't be here. I'll see you back on board, all right? You hang back for a bit. Hey, man, that's not funny. I think you would have made me captain eventually. <laughs> Hey, what is that? You couldn't even get Edward to open the door, man. That was because I was letting you, like, audition oh, for the oh, role. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was feeling sorry for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. What? I've left my pad behind here. Take oh, forget this. it. We ain't got time. Oh, we got ten minutes. I thought you said the ship was going to blow. In ten minutes. Look, I'll meet you on the bridge. I won't be a minute. All right, be quick. I will.
Pete to bridge. Go ahead, Pete. Jane, the airlock's sealed again. Pete, are you still over there? Yeah, and I'd really like to get off about now. No one over here has touched it. Yeah, we're... No, I'm still out at the mini bay. Pegasus, who ordered the airlock to be sealed? Jane, it was the dragon herself. Warning, hull breach. Emergency airlock containment procedure initiated. What was that? Some sort of explosion in the airlock. Are we still secure? Airlock hatch compromised. Inner door is sealed and intact. Our door is Pete's still over there. What do you mean Pete's still over there? In the other ship. He went back to get something. Now he's fucking trapped. Pete, how long do you have before that engine goes bad? About seven minutes. Okay, Pete, you need to listen to me. You need to get yourself into a spacesuit and you can spacewalk across. That's no good. We left all the spacesuits and the helmets on the Pegasus for spares. Shit, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, Pete, listen up. Right. I'm gonna move us over close to you. You open your airlock door anyway. The explosive decompression will throw you over to us. You can survive in space for a few seconds without a suit. When he gets across, how do we let him back in? The outer airlock door is hanging off. If we open the inner one, we lose atmosphere from the whole ship. We'll lock the whole section. Uh, no, 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 guys, guys, that's gonna take too long. It's gonna be manual override, and once we vent out the atmosphere, we'll blast him back. Pete! Yeah! I need you to get to the escape pod, and we'll pick you up after launch. Okay, on it! Mike. Get to the med bay, check on Edward, make sure he's still unconscious, and make sure that Haley has the boy. Jane, move us away from the ship. Mike, get a weapon. Got it. Sir, shouldn't we wait? Jane, just do it. Warning, the dragon's antimatter chamber is destabilizing. Warning, Pegasus is within predicted blast radius. Still no pod launch. Come on, Pete. What the hell's he doing? Obviously, generation units, they need pressure releasing every three to four weeks. Otherwise, the valve blows and we have too many valves left. And if you need the valves, they're actually in the maintenance cabinet in my room. Pete. So. Listen, because you'll, uh, you'll need to know some of this stuff. Uh, the uh, the Medibay, the emergency batteries in the Medibay are actually currently powering the water recyc system. Uh, so if you need the Medibay, from the appendix or something like that, you'll uh, need to manually switch it. It's been an honor, Pete. Likewise. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have let you go back. Hey, hey shut up. Yeah. Nothing to apologize for. You take care of yourself, all right, man? Hey. Hey, scam. Please come back, Pete. Oh, I want to, but I, I can't. There's been an accident and I'm stuck over here. It's really silly. But listen, everything is going to be okay because Haley's here. What's going to happen? Okay. In about a minute, I'm going to die. But listen, it's going to be very quick. And it's okay because for that minute, I get to talk to you. And I get to tell you that see the ocean and I helped you get there don't be sad baby I love you very much and I need you to I need you to keep a secret from me so can you do that Sad, baby. 
What did I tell you, Captain? I warned you about meddling with the Chinese. No one could have predicted this would happen. Well, I'm glad that you think so. Because we just lost the only man that could keep this ship running. And fortunately now, we're in this system. I don't know how else this crate is gonna keep going. change out of the suit. Jane, get us back on course. Replaying log 8470. All right, I'm removing the last screw now. Make sure you keep a hold of it. Relax, man. These are steady hands. I just don't want to lose any if we can help it. Yeah, there's already enough screws loose around here. Michael, are you disparaging the sanity of certain crew members on board? Or are you making libelous insinuations about the stability of my ship? Your ship? <laughs> Fuck you, man. That ship's sweetheart is mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 flyboy. Anybody can point this crate in a direction and press the button mark go, but it takes a genius, and let's not forget, Mike, I'm a genius, to keep her A okay. moving and B from falling apart, all right? That makes a mine. Sorry to interrupt you, ladies, but this crate, as you so elegantly call it, Pete, is mine. Captain, yeah. whose ship is it? John's ship. Good girls. Now, how much longer on this work? I'm just installing the new valve now. Copy that. Quick as you can, gentlemen. I want engine started inside of an hour. There's a dust cloud headed this way that'll require more than a valve being fixed if it hits us. Understood, sir. Moving double quick. Where were we? Let me just make sure he's not still listening. Captain? Okay, yes, where were we? This ship, Mike, is mine because I'm the one that keeps it falling apart every time. Somebody called Mike takes us too close to a star or through an asteroid belt or into a black hole or whatever it is you joyriders do when you're fumbling at those controls. Whoa, well, she may not be falling apart, but you sure ain't the one out here fixing her right now. Well, delegation of duties is part of my job, you see. There's no point in risking me going outside to flick some plasma valve when I can talk you through it, Mike. This is a job a seven-year-old could do. Oh, well, next time we'll just send Lila. The suits are too big for her. Besides which, we're supposed to only send expendable members of crew outside. How are you feeling? I live. You hit me really hard. We weren't supposed to let them on board. Just obeying regulations, Pete, right? What? Huh. How did that happen? Will you please stop talking? Tokai, Tokai! Listen to me! Listen to me! Listen to me! Calm down! Do you speak English? So guys, so guys, Call the captain. So, so guys, so Security breach. Medical bay. Security Security breach. Medical bay. Security breach. Medical bay. Security breach. Medical bay. Woman, c'est panio. Ni, monsieur. It's okay. So guys, so guys, so guys, so guys. Woman. Woman, Sang Hui, Sang Hai, Ni. Woman, 
Uhi. Find out what happened to his ship. And don't let him out of your sight. Or him. She's dead. Does that mean I'm not hallucinating? Come on. You know better than all that. I could be dead, and you could still be hallucinating. Great. Best of both worlds. Everyone should be prepared for that. Sleeping. Get anything out of him? Not a lot. My Chinese isn't great, and even when I used the translation programs, there were still questions that he didn't want to answer. I asked him about his parents and the other people on the ship, but still nothing. Something really traumatic must have happened on that ship, but he doesn't want to tell me. Mike and Edward found the flight log. He... He was right. They didn't save anything for the return flight. They burned out everything they had to get here a few months ahead of us. And the escape pod was launched six months ago. That boy's been on his own for that long. I wonder he's so feral. You know, the weird thing is, in the weeks that followed after they launched the escape pod, the airlock opened like five or six times, but no ship's docked. He must have tried to kill himself, but couldn't go through with it. Captain. Go ahead. We are now within range of the planet. Edward has confirmed that the probe is ready to launch. Thank you. Tell Edward to launch immediately. successfully. It all comes down to this. Yep. Do you think we'll make it? Yeah, I do. I don't. Screen? Yep, I see it. You called for me? Can't be about the probe already. It's too early for that. We got news of another one. The Chinese probe. What about it? Uh, according to their computer, the probe was sent out a couple of hours before their escape pod was launched. Only to a different address. 
What do, you, what do you mean a different address? The system doesn't have just one planet in the habitable zone. It has two. They occupy the same orbit. The telescopic scans confuse the one with the other. You know what this means? Two potentially habitable planets. We just doubled our chances. Have we received any data transmission from the probe? After they launched it, their ship drifted out of range. The probe should have transmitted, but look. They never received the telemetry. We're a lot closer into the system, so when we launch our probe... So we should start to receive the data transmission, then? I think we will. <laughs> right now, that second planet is behind our sun. But if my calculations are right, then in a couple of days, that planet should just pop right out, we'll be in line of sight, and we'll be able to receive the transmissions from the Chinese probe. We get two rolls of the dice, gentlemen. For now, we wait. Penny for your thoughts, Captain. You know what I'm thinking, Captain? Always. Your crew don't see it, but I can feel the sadness washing over you like waves on the beach. You're thinking how old our children would be if we've gone ahead as originally planned. I wonder who they would have gone with. You're hoping you are alive. Did you draw the short straw? Did a crew mutiny and kill her? And a child? Did she kill herself? Maybe I killed a kid. That's what being captain means. Taking difficult decisions and sticking with her. I know what it takes to be a captain. Captain? You awake? Ah, everything's fine. Go back to bed. Updated access code. Locker code accepted. Captain John Dale.
did you do to him? What are you talking about? We were, we were drinking, huh? Watching a movie, huh? We had a drink on fire right there! Oh my god! Pegasus, who else has been in here? Warning. Mainframe breach in engineering. I cannot help. Where the hell is Lila? Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen! We have to find the boy. Warning. Security breach. My program is being tampered with. The only access point is in engineering. Hey! Let me talk to him. Nizuenda. He said he didn't do it. Yeah, of course he'd say that. Nobody was dying till he showed up. He's just a boy. Well, you know what? Mike was sleeping, and even a boy can cut a throat if someone's sleeping. And it takes a special kind of boy, doesn't it? I agree. It's him. Jay, Lila Tanani. <sighs> you must know, where is she? Where is Lila? Here I am. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yes, we were playing hide and seek. When did you last see him? Ages ago. He was supposed to be looking for me, not hiding. Okay. What do we do with him? Well, you know what? If the airlock was working, I'd say flush him out. We can't kill him. Well, you know what? You people do what you want. But I'm going to tell you what, Captain. There ain't no way I'm sleeping in the same room as this kid. Anyone is liable to get his throat cut. Excuse me. Right now, we get back to work and check Pegasus is still running properly. to repair my mainframe, so I am very happy to be your wake-up call today. However, most of my sensors are still offline. I'm sorry. Haley? Jerry? Pegasus, A deck corridor panel 42 is ripped open. Thank you, Captain. I will alert the bridge. Jane. The captain has reconnected the wiring in panel 42 on A deck. Some of my internal sensors are now back online. All crew are accounted for, including the two survivors from the dragon. John? Internal sensors on the Chinese ship were down too, sir. Good job. All right, we need to get the sensors back up, make sure nobody else is on the ship. You okay? Uh, I'm good. Go. Go. You wanted him. Bring him over here. What are you doing? Can't you see he's terrified? I, I don't care. Give him to me. Be careful with him. <clears throat> Ask him. That's an order. Ask him. I don't want to get him. I don't want to go. I am the last one to
He said this man killed his crew. Hunted them, one by one, threw them out the airlock. He said he's the last. Captain, Jane has managed to get the rest of my internal sensors back online. Knowledge. Jay is the last survivor from the dragon. Also, Edward has news from the probe. Last or not, I want him tied up. Tie him up. Edward, the captain has called a meeting at your request. I believe the crew is looking forward to your findings. So what exactly does inconclusive mean? It means we're unable to determine from the telemetry whether the planet is habitable or not. But that's what it's there for. I mean, you're supposed to be the expert. You are here to interpret the data. So interpret it. It's inconclusive. But what does it mean? It means that we land and find out. Why don't we just wait a few days for the planet to clear? We'll get the readouts from the Chinese probe about the second planet, and then we'll know which way to head. We don't have the time. Why not? Another one of our oxygen units went down. We now have two out of four running. We're consuming oxygen faster than we're producing it. Well, how long have we got? Not long enough to wait on the data from the probe. Pegasus. Yes, how Jerry. long and what are the chances of survival if we reduce the amount of breathers on board? No, no, no one, one is killing one anyone. The we've lost two people, by but we've also gained an extra pair of lungs. You know, I don't see it's fair that he's breathing our air. No, we take the ship down. Prepare for entry. Check on the boy, Haley. There's a chance that if we land, we'll never be able to make it off the ground again. Okay. Captain, Jane has the Pegasus lined up and ready for landing. But I must warn you, after a seven year journey and with all the modifications Pete has made to my systems, this won't be a smooth ride. May I suggest we wait and run a flight landing simulation? We go now. Pegasus, transfer helm to manual. Confirmed. Helm is now transferred to manual. Good luck, Jane. Engaging descent course. Let's go with you. 
No. Wait, no, I need you in case we can't get back off of here. Landing's the hard part. Taking off is easy. You're the captain. Your place is here. All right. I'll seal the airlocks behind you guys. As you wrap around, it's gonna take me a few minutes. Come on, let's take time to get suited up. Something profound. What? Nothing. Doesn't matter. Let's get these readings. Damn it. Be sure? You get the same readings I am, right? Yeah. Edward to bridge. Go ahead. We wouldn't last more than two minutes without the air in our suits. This planet's ecosystem is still evolving. Way too much methane, nitrogen. It's like the Earth three million years ago. It's a dry well. Copy that. Better luck next time. Heading back. For what it's worth, you guys are doing what few others have ever done before. Let's hope on the next one we can all take a walk outside, but be able to feel the wind on our faces. Remember, second roll of the dice. Where do we go from here? Back to the ship. Captain, Jane and Edward are back on board, and the airlock is sealed. Yeah, okay. May I suggest that the crew take a few hours to sleep, as you are all showing signs of fatigue. I will run diagnostics on the ship's systems while you rest. Yeah. It will be nice to spend some time on solid ground for a change. Yeah. Jane, congratulations on becoming one of the first humans to have walked on an alien world. I hope your first words were suitably memorable. We will be ready for liftoff in approximately three hours. Please try to rest until then. Ignition sequence initiated. Take all emergency power to the engines. Transfer in progress now. Warning. Nitrogen leak detected in engineering. We've got Edward a nitrogen leak. Line. Edward, where's it at? It's in engineering. Get on it. Patch Warning. it. With what? Warning. Go. I don't Down care. It's a, a, improvise. Go. 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 Captain, the nitrogen could leak into the remaining oxygen supply. See if you can seal that section. That section is not sealable, Captain. But it can be shut down. We can't shut it down. It's the engine core. We shut it down, we lose the ship. Attention. Nitrogen contamination is at critical. What are you doing? Tape. Any kind of metallic tape. If anyone would have any, it would be Pete. No, he doesn't have any in there. I already checked. Warning, reigniting engine core.
really thought the room with two dead men would be a great place to hide a murder weapon. We are clear of the stratosphere and immediate danger, but I am afraid the antimatter engines are still down. Come on. So we have no propulsion. That is correct, Captain. Get on port. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Engine relays Whip offline. And back on. Go. Reboot failed. Still down. It's still down. Okay, we're going to do it again. Port three, two, one. Rebooting engine uh, four. Edward is dead. Okay, let's. We're still venting. Are we? We're still, okay, we're back. Edward is dead. Our generation unit is venting O2. How? Evac procedure and shut down. Okay, check it. The Chinese boy killed. Okay, we're back on. He stabbed. Attention, all crew. Please evacuate the lower deck. I was, I was in the engine room, and he, you got this. There was nothing I could do. Life support is now offline on lower deck. Okay, this ends here. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I just... I'm just a little tired. I... I just need a little... I just need a minute. Has he been here the whole time? Stay here. Warning. Antimatter levels at 2% and falling. Haley? Captain. We seem to have drained all the power taken off from the planet. As it stands, we either have enough power to send a signal to the fleet or to head to the next planet. We can't do both. We're going to the planet, right, Captain? Captain? Take it really easy, Captain. We don't want to lose another crew member, do we? You killed them. No, I warned you. Bad things were gonna happen if you engaged the Chinese, and I was right. Now, we're going to that planet. I don't have much time left in this universe, Captain. By God, I'm gonna die with the wind in my face. Do the right thing. Protect the kids. I thought he would have put up more of a fight than that. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna go see the ocean, baby, just like pizza. Warning. Unless engines are successfully initiated, we will soon be caught in the planet's gravity field. Haley! Anyone who had access to the ship had to get aboard immediately. Otherwise, they'd, they'd be overwhelmed. There wasn't enough time. I just grabbed Lila and I ran. Attention. The evacuation escape pod has launched successfully. 
Our beloved captain has abandoned ship. So much for caring about humanity. If that planet is habitable, we have to send a signal. It could be our last hope for humanity. Well, humanity had its chance. Where are those logs you were? Ah, there they are. Do you know what he's saying? Not entirely. Well, allow me to enlighten you. They too launched a probe into the second planet. But the probe malfunctioned. With their reserve power all but gone. Well, they knew that they couldn't land and then take off again. So, the captain, well, he followed the probe in the escape pod. He would fix the pod. And they would receive a signal letting them know whether the planet was capable of sustaining life or not. Now, if it wasn't, at least they didn't kill the crew and sentence him to death on the surface. And shortly after he left, one of his crew went crazy and started killing everyone. Yes, except for a small boy managed to evade his tormentor. Until we are. Captain, we are now receiving data from the Chinese probe. Hold it right there, Captain! Don't move or I will cut her throat. You fire one round in this hole and we're all dead. Drop the gun! Do it! Warning, hull breach, venting atmosphere. We'll lose all our power. I know. Send in the signal to the fleet. Signal pod launched. Main power failing. We are caught in the gravity field of the planet. Warning, we will enter the planet's thermosphere in 30 seconds due to gravity field. Pegasus. What are our chances of survival? Your chances of survival are zero. Congratulations, Captain. You have completed your mission.